right, everybody, about to hit it up again. It is Saturday, and you guys know what that means. Concerts in the park at Santa Clarita, at Central Park, actually. We're about to hit it up at the exact same park. As you guys know, all summer I've been coming here every single Saturday. And look what I see, and I've been, oh, damn it, it went away. Well, what we've been seeing this past week, or the past three days that I've actually been at this park, uh, including today, so Friday and Thursday, I've been noticing there's drowsies appearing at this park, which is very, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, which is very cool. So I'm hoping they start making an appearance here. I know in London you guys got them drowsies on lock, but uh, over here we don't get as many, so it's very cool. Even though I already have a hypno, uh, it'd be great to get some candy so I can go ahead and power up my hypno as well. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. We are definitely going to be working on some of our eggs. So let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, we got a 2.1 out of 5 and a 3.5 out of 5. And hopefully we can get some more eggs. Pretty much I'm just going to go ahead and walk around. If I see anything cool or anything interesting pops up, we'll definitely go ahead and bring you guys back at it. But we're basically just going to go ahead and do our normal routine walk around and gather all of these pokey stops here at the park. And of course hatch our eggs and catch any interesting Pokemon. As you guys can see, not too much interesting going on at the moment but that is okay we will definitely get some egg hatching in while we are doing our very very plentiful walk and I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in thus far and uh, if you guys have any questions comments go ahead and post in the comment section down below don't forget to check out the description box and again thank you very much for tuning in let's get to it all right we've got a definite change from last week really quickly we're gonna grab this Pokestop and I got to go ahead and show you case to you guys what is going on here I've never been able to capture uh, this many drowsies in my life. This is definitely turning into a London feature over here. I think they've recently changed all of the nests. I know the music's in the background, uh, but I think they've recently changed all the nests because I'm going to go ahead and go to my journal. I didn't showcase you guys this because I didn't think I would actually catch this many. But as you can see in my recent list, I've got two drowsies. And on my nearby list, there's another drowsy. I have yet to see an onyx on my nearby list. So I'm assuming the onyxes have disappeared from this park and they've been changed and exchanged with these drowsies that I have going on here. So drowsies, welcome. Sadly, I don't need you uh, because I did end up getting a couple drowsies back when we, when we first started. In order to get a Hypno, I was able to get enough candies to evolve, and it is a 1298 Hypno, which isn't too shabby at all. Um, but yeah, I'm assuming they've changed it again. Like, every single patch, they keep changing and changing the spawn nest locations of all the Mons. So don't worry, if you've never found a Mon close to your house before, you're definitely in the future. Depending on the Mon itself, of course, a Water-type Pokemon ain't going to be thrown into the desert. Uh, there's a, that occasional one, but uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and keep on at it with these Pokestops and hatching these eggs hopefully and we will continue with our journey today. But I will go ahead and see, if, I'm pretty sure we're going to get an egg out of this one. We have to. There's just no way we can't get an egg because I've opened one, two, three, four, five. This is a six Pokestop. Six in a row with no eggs. Are you joking? Come on, son. Come on, mate. Come on, bring me them eggs, bro. We need them 10Ks. Need them 10Ks, son. First 5K egg of the day. I know sun's just gleaming right into your face right now, guys. About to get this one in. Oh, man. Actually, no, I don't even need it anymore, sadly. God damn, son. I don't even need it anymore. Get another 5K that's about to pop out soon. Get away from this music. Get some more Pokestops in. Hopefully, we can get a 10K egg. Because we do have a full bag of eggs, but we only still got four 10Ks. So, we're going to go ahead and do the trail again. Because we've just done it once, so we've collected all nine eggs, but we just got rid of one of our eggs for 457 CP Nidoran. Definitely don't need, so let's go ahead and transfer this thing off, sadly, and continue on. Ooh, whoa, 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 time out. Hatched 100 eggs. Got a medal, son. Got a medal. Achievements racking in right now, son. Egg, egg. All right, cool. We're back to nine eggs. Please, please be 10K. Please be 10K. Please be 10k. God damn, 5k eggs left and right today, son. Uh, at least I've got a incubator for it, and I don't have to buy one. That's cool. All right, well, it looks like we just got to continue walking until we hatch more eggs then, because all these pokey ups are going to be really useless. Nothing nearby, just Pidgeotto and Mankey. Harambe. Harambe's nearby. Not sure where Harambe is, but we don't need him anyways. And a Pidgey. All right, cool. Nothing great is nearby at all. Hopefully we can find something cool, though. I mean, it's 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 rare, of course, but again, I need them 10Ks. Just cut myself a Geodude. 
and that is one step closer to getting ourselves a golem which we are now at one or we at 78 out of 100 let's go ahead and transfer this and guess what guess what boom there's another geodude it's very hard to actually find geodudes in this area and to find two even though the cp is poor i really don't care at all uh, it would be great to get a graveler with a high cp um, because I already have a Graveler right now and I really do not care about too much for the Geodudes. But, on the other hand, we are getting the candies from these guys and we definitely are in desperate need of that. We are now at 82 candies out of 100, so that's very baller right there. Just thought I'd bring you guys back for that, keep you guys updated. I also caught a Bell Sprout, which put us at 49 Bell Sprout candies out of 100. Uh, we do got a Weeping Bell to get that Victory Bell. So we're getting we're getting candies towards our evolution. So our Pokedex is like going to go skyrocket pretty soon. But right now we are at a stall. Uh, we're going to continue with this eggs, the egg journeys, egg journeys. What's our egg journey at? The next one's at 4.3. So yeah, we got 0.7 to go. Let's go ahead and get that in quickly, son. Alrighty. 5k keeping it up with them 5k's right now son hopefully again you guys know what we're going for you guys know what we're going for about to meet up with a couple peeps in a bit are you joking getting both getting double double here need a ram male need a ram female guess what don't need them at all i'm still aiming for porygon i'm still aiming for lucky tongue don't know where this is coming from i'm assuming this is a 2k egg because all of my 5k's were freaking stacked god damn weedles bro weedles bro come on mate come on mate don't even need it all right transfer time let's get this one out all right just hatched out of an egg i got a rat really rat attack these eggs are i know it's very dark right now guys I'm about to get into some light uh these eggs are very poor this episode but to transfer another rat attack in fact i just caught one which is even worse even worse i just caught one uh we got an egg though just a refill sake let's go ahead and check out what the kms on this bad boy is it is a 5k god damn i'm not getting any luck though guys with getting these 10k eggs at all uh we got one two three more eggs that are gonna hatch tonight uh, we got the three 5k eggs that are going to hatch. So hopefully we can fill those eggs up tonight. Not too sure if we're going to be getting some 10k eggs, but hopefully we do. And hopefully we can get that 9 to 10 10k episode out as soon as possible. I would really love to do that. I've been storing my 10k eggs. I really don't need anything except the Lapras now. Uh, so I've been storing these eggs for a long time now. So hopefully we can get these 10k eggs. And hopefully we can get some more Pokemon so we can evolve them up in order to complete our Pokedex. So, I'm gonna continue on with my journey over here at this park, and I'll see you guys in a bit. The egg just about to hatch. Not too sure how this one ha got being able to hatch so quickly. Oh, Goldeen. Oh, wait, no, we got a Sea King a couple weeks ago. God damn it, don't need Goldeen anymore. Uh, we actually don't even need this one because the one that I have is even better. So, at least we got candies. Uh, I'll think of the positives. We've got candies in order to boost up my current seeking but uh yeah not too sure how that egg hatched so quickly uh we do got oh one's at 4.8 so one's about to hatch as well 4.2 those are the last two remaining eggs so we got two more 5k eggs that are going to hatch pretty damn shortly and then we're going to be closing it off for the night and again we do need to replace these three eggs as well so i'm going to be hitting as many pokestops as i can before we head on back over to the car I'm gonna go get one more that's in front and then head all the way into the back of the park where I am parked and gather every Pokestop that is on the way. Uh, what is that? That is an Eevee. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and capture this one. Uh, let's go ahead. 404. I mean, that's not great. I've had a 600 Eevee before, so could be better, but I will take an Eevee, nonetheless, right now. This 404 will probably evolve into something higher than my current Jolteon. Jolteon is my lowest. So let's go ahead and do the okay. Actually, no, it won't. Definitely won't. Definitely will not. So we are going to go ahead and grab this Pokestop. And then I'm going to have to go around this bush. And then we're going to go ahead and grab one, two, three, four more on the way back. So hopefully we can get some more eggs. And hopefully they're 10k eggs. So let's get to it. All right, so I can officially confirm this is no longer an onyx nest. If you go to my journal, uh, we'll find out how many Drowsies we've caught here. One, two, there's, I know there's a lot more. I know there's plenty more. Three, oh, come on. 
it won't go back any farther. Okay, I've cotton. Okay, let me see how many candies I have. Then I can tell you. I subtract it by four and divide it by four because I keep uh, transferring all of them. Oh, well, here we go. Here's an egg. It is a 5K egg. Uh, the lo one of the last two that we're going to be hatching today. Oddish. I will definitely take it. We do need a vial bloom. And we've got 10 candies out of that. And it is a 641. So let's go ahead and transfer it uh, because my gloom is very decent. But I did want to go ahead and prove to you guys about the drowsy situation we've got going here. I haven't found one onyx, and usually we find so many onyxes that I hate them. Um, let's go ahead and find my drowsy and hypno. Uh, my hypno is at 1298, uh, but we're going to be focusing on my drowsy here. I did want to look at the candies. We have 25 candies, subtracted by 4. That leaves us with 21. Let's just divide that by 4. Which we get six, we get 20, so that's five. I've cut around five drowsies thus far. Uh, I don't know where the extra one came from, but oh well. Oh well. But yeah, I did want to confirm. They've changed the nest again. So rather frequently they're going to be doing that. But uh, we do have one more egg, and we do have two more Poke Stops that we can get. Uh, so hopefully we can get, we'll have two empty egg stocks. Hopefully we can get at least one egg out of there. Uh, so we can get us back up to 8 out of 9, but we got 4.7 out of 5k egg that we're going for. And hopefully one of these eggs, if we can get 2 or 1, uh, hopefully at least we can get a 10k, please. Uh, because we've been doing a lot of Pokestops tonight, and we have yet to get a 10k. So it's going to get really dark right now, but catch you in a little bit. Here it is, the last egg hatching at the park. It is a 5k, again, Porygon, my bro. I don't know how many, ooh, oh, Tangela. I, I was like, yes, but no. I don't see Tangela's often. It is a 960. Ah, oh, damn it, my other one's higher. Come on, son. The very terrible egg hatching, but we did get a lot of, uh, we got, well, not a lot, but we got a few bell spouts, but we got a lot of Geodudes, so we're very close to getting a golem. But I'll be seeing you guys in a little bit. We are not done with the vlog yet, but we are done with the park tonight. And I'll catch you guys in a bit because we have 2% battery left, so definitely going to be dying soon. Alrighty, everybody, the last day at the beach right now, son. Last day of summer, I should say. Look what we're finding here, bro. Look what we're finding. We are finding, please stay on trail, por favor. You know what, I'm not gonna go this way anyways, cause I got no shoes on. Barefooted over here, son, and these rocks are hurting. These rocks are hurting. So, we about to basically go ahead and show you guys around. We are at Carpinteria Beach in California, for those of you wondering. It is the last day of summer for me. I go back to school tomorrow, and this is a great way to end this week's vlog. We got a Growlithe at a beach for some reason. We got Pidgeys, we got Magikarps and Psyducks over here. We got a gym, and we just took this uh, Pokestop. There's Pokestops along the way, but then none of them are actually on the beach. We're gonna go ahead and meet someone in a little bit though. We're gonna go ahead and follow this path over here though. These Pokestops over here before we meet my friends later, which is probably, I'll probably be done playing Pokemon Go by the time they get here though. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit these Pokestops over here. There's a nice little trail of Pokestops on this side. It's going away from the beach. The beach is behind me. But along the beach, there's like little parking, little parking spots. And uh, there's Pokestops at the end of each little parking uh, section. Uh, basically where the homes are and there's nothing on the beach itself you can't really get to the pokestops from the beach either unless you just go to the poke uh, where the parking lots are so in each and every parking lot there is a pokestop but there's nothing on the beach and we will go ahead and try to hunt some pokemon on the beach but for now uh, we're just going to go ahead and walk around uh, get some pokestops in and of course i will be showing you guys some footage of the nice and beautiful scenery that we got over here but let's go ahead and start off with some trailing all right, so I was almost scared there for a little bit because I thought I was going to have to go back and go on that little trail with all those rocks are. Again, I am barefooted. Ow, fuck you, bitch. But I do get the Pokestops from where I am, and hopefully we can get some 10k eggs today. Ooh, we just got an egg, though. Speaking of eggs, we just got an egg, but let me go ahead and get this Pokestop in as well really quickly. Let me see how our eggs are doing anyways from this point in time. Pokemon, change it over. Got a 2k egg, so that's not great, but it will be able to hatch very quickly. Hopefully we have an incubator. We do. 
and we've got two more pokey stops i believe that are in front of us and we are going to go get those and i believe i will have to go actually we're only going to be able to get one the other one i do have to go on the trail and i'm not going to be going on that trail um because i don't have any shoes at the moment but we will be going back to the beach and hitting all those uh parking lots and i believe there's like three or four that we'll be able to get from those pokey stops so stay tuned and i'll see you guys in just a little bit all right now the pokey stop situation here is actually pretty damn great to be honest because going away from the beach we were able to get those three pokey stops that i just showed you uh starting off with our official point there's a pokey stop there and then going along the beach towards the beach uh we've got three pokey stops right in front of me and they're situated i just figured it out on a uh, lifeguard post so every single section, there's a lifeguard area there. So they're situated in the lifeguard post. Not necessarily all of them. There's two of them out of the four are with the lifeguards, but uh, the other two, there's like a dumpster. They marked it on a dumpster. I have no idea why. But uh, we got some magic cups in the area, and we're gonna go ahead and gather these poke stops as soon as possible. Hopefully we got no more room for eggs, so got nothing to worry about there except hatching them. So let's go ahead and make our way down this little pathway right here. Ooh, nice. Nice flooring, son. Nothing wrong with my feet on this flooring here, bros. Let's go ahead and we're walking towards the beach and as you guys can see, it goes little twisty turns. That's where the pokey stop is. It is on that little lifeguardy post right there. And finally, we were able to go ahead and grab it. So let's go ahead, oh my gosh. Oh, no way. My feet are burning over here, son. Feet are burning. All right change of flooring and I don't like the new flooring anymore because it's goddamn burning son goddamn burning Ow. exactly what I was hoping for coming to the beach just like I did in Santa Monica sadly the footage uh, got deleted this was like a month ago when I was in Santa Monica capturing Pokemon uh, the variation here is different for some reason there's a Grimer here I'll take it though but I was definitely going for this Squirtle and that shelter it is very hard for me to get water Pokemon from where I live so coming to the beach getting that brand new variation of Pokemon is definitely good for me and there is after that mystic gym that is on my map I can't go any farther than that in fact uh, that road is actually closed off but where the lure module is on that uh, pokey stop that's the next one I'm going to be going to and then I'll be walking back on the beach showcasing to you guys what this beach is all about over here in Carpinteria and hopefully you guys come down soon because I actually do come here quite often I definitely come here every single year during the summer um, but this does happen to be the last day of summer for me because again I do start school tomorrow so kind of sucks that I'm not going to be coming here for a while. But yeah, hit me up guys if you're down to come. I'm DTC at Carpinteria Sun all day every day. It's a very nice beach and it's free parking which is also a plus and it's not that far from where I live at all. So let's go ahead and get to this Poke Stop where this lure module is at. And hopefully we do find a Squirtle there. There's a Grimer as well. The goddamn Squirtle went away. So let's go ahead and get that Grimer and Shelter, hopefully. Uh, those are two Pokemon that I could definitely need because I do need a Cloyster and I do need a, a new level, finally. Look at this, look at this. Okay, we found us finally my first water Pokemon here. Uh, but we are definitely going to be getting this Pikachu in, son. Uh, let's go ahead and turn AR on. See what that looks like. Uh, as you guys can see, there's the AR. You guys can see where I'm at right now. But look what we found. We found a Pikachu on the beach was not attracted by the lure module which is interesting and uh, electric type in the beach everybody about to get electrocuted today son by that water uh, water conducts electricity so I got that Pikachu out of the beach for us about to transfer this one anyways and hopefully we can get this side up because I do want a water type just to say that I caught a water type we're only staying at this beach for two hours anyways it was basically on the way home which is the only reason why we came here only reason why we came here uh, I went to Santa Barbara about 10 in the morning today and on the way home, Carpinteria, always got to hit it up. First try on a very, very decent CP Psyduck here, son. But guess what? When I say decent, it is not better than my gold duck. So let's go ahead and carry on back. Get all those pokey stops on the way back. Hopefully we can hit them from the beach end. And if we find anything interesting, it's only a shelter for me that's really interesting right now. Bring you guys back. Uh, let me go ahead and check out my eggs really quickly here. Uh, I know we got some 2Ks that are going to definitely pop up soon. We got another KM to go. So let's go ahead and see if we can get that in. Interesting here, son. Interesting level. We got a Jigglypuff on the beach. Puffing it. I don't know what he's doing on the beach at all. Getting that, getting that Jigglypuff tan on right here, son. 
getting that Jigglypuff tan on. Look at the view that we've got here. But uh, we just cut that Jigglypuff with that AR mode on and I'm glad it, it didn't take too long because I really cannot stand with AR on. I don't mind it, but uh, we do we have the opportunity to get these uh, pogey stops while we're on the beach, so we're definitely going to be able to do that. But again, enjoy that view, guys, because you ain't going to see it for a long time because I'm going back to school, and I definitely ain't coming back here for probably another full year. We got a ton of cool, and that ratatat I just passed like a couple of meters back, but I'm definitely not capturing it. Get plenty of those where I live, son. I'd at least bring you guys back, especially for this one here. I don't really need it. But it's just to say that there's wild type Pokemon here and I'm definitely turning AR mode off. I am one hand in this. It's always the glitch, man. It's always the glitch. That super oh my gosh, that's not a glitch. That's just that's just me being super bad at throwing freaking Pokeball shear son. But uh thought I'd bring you guys back with a little ten of cool capturing here. I do got a ten of cool, so I don't have to really worry about this one too much. I'm gonna get this one in the bag really quickly and definitely gonna be transferring it as well. Uh, my Tenna Cruel is not too bad, but it's not really a great CP Pokemon anyways. But uh, we are going that way, so let's go ahead and continue on. Chilling and killing with the fam for a little bit, uh, actually for probably a good hour. 
uh, we were just on the beach and as you guys saw I did a little bit of capturing here and there and I turned on AR this time so we could have that that beach feel the beach vibe and now that we have the beach vibe pretty much we are gonna be doing one more because we are about to head on over back home uh, gonna go ahead and do the uh, away from the beach triple pa uh, pokey stop and then we're gonna do the along the beach quadruple pokey stop and then we'll head on back over to the fam if there's any cool pokemon i'll definitely go ahead and capture them but we are going away from the beach and there's no uh, water types right now we get a ratatat and of course a spiro and really nothing for me to worry about so uh, what i'm really trying to aim for here is these uh the egg catching and we got a 1.4 out of 2 and a 3.8 out of 5, which are the ones that are closest to hatching. So, do got a Rattatat. I'm going to go ahead and capture it, but let's go ahead and grab these three Pokestops and then head on back over and get some more. Alright, everybody, we got one last Pokestop to hit up, and then we're going to be heading on out back home. And I just wanted to say, before we ended off this vlog, what did you guys think about it? It's something different, and I'm glad I was able to actually do it. Again, starting tomorrow, I start school, so it's going to be harder for me to get out, but I will still be getting these videos out to you guys. And... Stay tuned for some more content brought to you by youtube.com slash for the Winitachi as well. We do have some more games that we are going to be planning and bringing out to the channel. So stay tuned for that. I just wanted to end off this vlog by saying thank you very much for tuning in. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if you liked the video. And I just want to say again, we're going to hit this last Pokestop. If anything cool happens or really amazing, I'll bring you guys back. But this is probably the way we're going to be ending it. And we got plenty of eggs to be hatching during the next episode. So stay tuned. Thank you very much for tuning in. For the Winitachi is out.